Hello everyone, thanks for coming out here today. We really do appreciate you. Thanks for your continuous support and thanks for always staying tuned to our channel. We are here to keep you updated with the latest and most authentic happenings in our country. And the news we've got today is all the way from Ikeja, Lagos. I'm the daughter of the um, leader of the um, All Progressive Congress, Asiwaju Bola Tinubu. Um, he's, um, she's up to something in the computer village. She has shut down um, the computer village and asked traders to pay 5 million naira. Wow, that is a big sum. I don't know what this, um, this, this, this family, what they are up to in Lagos. They don't own Lagos, but we'll find out and what they are up to in a moment. But before we do, guys, please, if you haven't yet subscribed to our channel, click on the subscribe button down below. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up, hit on the like button. We really do appreciate you. Thank you once again for your continuous support. Right, so let's get more details um, about um, what's going on in Ikeja. Tinobu's daughter shuts down computer village, asks traders to pay 5 million naira. For Lashade Tinobu Ojo, the daughter of the national leader of the All Progressive Congress, APC, Asewaju Bola Ahmed Tinobu, is on rampage. For Lashade Tinobu Ojo, who is also the Ialoja General of Lagos, has shut down Nigeria's equivalent of the Silicon Valley, the computer village, which is the hub of ICT accessories in Nigeria. She gave her aides the order who invaded the village overnight, removed signboards of the various associations domiciled in the village with the order that no shop should open for business. This has been the case. Her order was carried out at a time when many are just recovering from the lockdown following the onset of the coronavirus pandemic. At her behest, Nigerians who survive daily on income from the computer village have been locked out. We gather that her grievance was the refusal of about 5 million businessmen, some of them experts, inhibiting the hub to pay the imposed levy of 1,000 naira per day, irrespective of about 15 existing associations all registered by the federal government in what many have described as political move to keep the area under control. When our correspondent visited the area, all the shops were under lock and key. No business was ongoing with the situation very tense at the moment. Sources informed us that the situation will likely persist in the coming days. Some shop owners who spoke said they would never submit to her authority. They wonder how Falashade Tinubu Ojo will want to wield her influence in a hub where she has no shop. They told us that the leadership in the market is based on democratic election and challenge her to put up a candidate when elections are due. It was also gathered that the hub had already succumbed to a Baba Lodja who also owned no shop in the area, but that this time it will be a fight to finish. Sources informed us that the relevant association may go to court, stopping this impunity by the Eologia General of Lagos. Last year, members of the computer village protested her decision to impose Eologia on them. Falashade Tinobu, who addressed the issue, said the protesters were ill-informed. According to our constitution, I can choose anybody from any local government in the state to head the market. All the Ialoja and Babaloja in the Lagos market are my representative in the market where they operate. Kindly educate them that phones, handsets and computers are commodities. They cannot tell us they are not pepper sellers. Everybody cannot be textile dealers. They cannot tell us that Computer Village will be exonerated from other markets. We have the right to choose for them Ialoja and Babaloja. Those people protesting will never approach me to complain. They don't have the initiative that the person leading the protest has finished his tenure and wants to remain in power. Computer Village is not just an ICT hub. There are a lot of commodities being sold there. Nobody can say it is wrong to select a Baba Lodger and a Yaloja for the market. Those that have been selected were not selected because they are Yorubas. In some of our markets in Lagos, we have Igbos that were selected as market leaders, Tinubu Ojo said. 
Wow, this is truly unbelievable. It looks like it has turned into a family business. Just like father. You, have, you know, our father is the national leader of the All Progressive Congress. This is what's going on at the moment in Ikeja, Lagos. What she has done is that um, they've actually shut down the computer village, demanding that um, traders there will pay 1,000 naira per day. What they are saying is regardless of whether you make profit or you don't make profit. And they are not even considering the fact that we are just coming out of a, a, a pandemic. We've not even recovered fully. We are still in the situation. We've not recovered fully. There, there's been shut down um, for a long time. And people have not been doing business. And you know when you're not doing business, and uh, you're just spending the one that you have. So people have not been doing business. They are not even thinking of how they can um, boost or how they can uh, um, help business come up back to help the economy. All they are looking for is how to take and take and take from uh from um all the uh, from citizens see what they are up to i don't know where she got this idea from probably it's from her father we remember also the toll gate that is also um in lagos as well just before um lucky phase one you know that toll gate that is just right there so i don't know what these guys are up to it's truly unbelievable unbelievable but right now at the moment um this uh the guys in the market they have they've not um, accepted they said never it's not going to happen and beside this 1000 naira that um, she's requesting to get from um, the traders on a daily basis they have other agencies that they still pay money to so at the end of the day they are paying to different people and they are not getting support from anywhere only in nigeria that you can hear this happening where the government takes from the people and they don't have any any system in place where they can give back to the people so my people this is really strange it's shocking and um the daughter uh, um she's the daughter of this um uh, presidential uh, um um presidential candidate i'll call it presidential candidate um he's been he's been speculating that he's definitely gonna come out and that's why he's been playing a lot of games um within the all progressive congress of late we all know even with what is going on in the edo apc and on those state apc as well so um people it's so sad what's happening in our country we know there is a governor in that state the governor is from apc as well hmm it's all adding up now and you know apc um asewaju bolatin is the national lead of the all progressive congress could it be why the the governor is not saying anything or standing up um, to this injustice because i would say this is injustice to want to collect a thousand naira each from all the traders wherein there are already like 15 other um um agencies or bo uh, bodies claim to be collecting monies as well from these trainers what from the traders what are they expected to take back home we have a situation where the government takes from the people and don't give back to the people it's so sad even with coronavirus with the lockdown the palliative they talked about nigerians didn't even get anything we we, we sat in our own and we we're like okay that's fine let's take our fate the country has opened up want to start doing business they are shutting us out that no business you can't shop you can't do anything thing um you can't trade you can't do business go home and go hungry and she's stating it categorically that regardless of how long you want to fight you will never win even if you take it to court you will never win see the kind of country that we're living Tinubu, I don't know if, I'll say it again, I don't know if he owns Lagos. He's a one-time, we know he's a one-time governor of the state, but his hands are still not off Lagos state. I can see that he's still in charge of Lagos state. So guys, please, let's share this news and let everyone, let every, let this news go far, let everyone know what is going on in Lagos state and what this family, as a Wajubola Tinubu, what they are up to. They don't own Lagos state. So guys, um, do share this news. We want to take this time to say thank you very much to all of our values subscribers we really do appreciate you thanks for your continuous support and thanks for always staying tuned to our channel guys leave your comments down below let us know what you think share your thoughts on what is going on it's, it is quite sad i mean it is sad to say that you leave your house in the morning, you are going to trade to make ends meet, to bring back to your family, and someone has actually shut your, uh, put a lock to your your shop that you can't open. It's sad. What are you going to go back home with? So guys, um, leave your take and leave your comment down below. And also, please, um, if you haven't yet subscribed to our channel, click on the subscribe button down below. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up, hit on the like button. It really does mean a lot to us. Until um, I come your way again, it's bye for now and God bless.